I have designed and manufactured my own supermono frame together with the triple clamps, impeller covers and even my, a cylinder head of my own. Also a counter balancer has uh, been made. Now uh, I had problems with the crankcase cracking so I thought to myself why not make a crankcase by myself and that's what this video is about. Mats Clemens. As you know I've been struggling with vibrations in my supermono engine for quite some time so I decided to add a counterbalancer over here and uh, that worked really well. Uh, the uh, vibrations were down to a minimum and uh, the engine was really smooth, really nice to drive with. Uh, unfortunately there were, uh, it cracked here in between in the welds so oil leaked out and uh, I took a nose dive. Um, so that's uh, when I decided that I would like to um, design and manufacture a billet uh, crankcase of my own. And um, as you know that starts in front of the computer with a lot of CAD work. The OEM crankcases look uh, like this. And there is a um, lot of things here for the electric starter and the kick starter that I don't really need. So uh, I thought that uh, in this um, process I just might ditch those uh, two. The problem I had uh, from the beginning was that uh, the main bearings um, were damaged. Uh, they didn't last more than 5-6 hours. So I put in... Um, extra tough ones here, uh, double spherical roller bearings uh, that can accommodate uh, the bending of the crankshaft uh, without a problem and that worked really really well. Um, but uh, putting those bearings in here that, that meant that I had no place for the counterbalancer, you know that's a, a, like a disc spinning here uh, in between the crankshaft um, and the bearing. So I had to take that away and that caused the vibrations to go through the roof. So um, what I did with this one was uh, I designed a, a, an additional housing to put in front to have an, uh, a counterbalancer in front of the engine. Like the, it was in uh, the old models uh, up to 99. Uh, so but um, and this worked, uh, as I mentioned, very very well. But um, I had to weld this housing uh, to um, to the OEM crankcase, and I put a lot of weld here. But th that didn't do the trick uh, actually, because it cracked here, uh, and uh, oil was leaking out uh, through this uh, this spaces here, and uh, that was uh, mayhem altogether. Uh, but since uh, the solution itself, the concept was working fantastically, so um, I decided to um, to make myself new crankcases. And I started with uh, modeling the right hand side, and uh, that's uh, not not too uh, difficult, I I think. Uh, I incorporated the housing here, you see. Uh, added a lot of material here in between to make sure it doesn't crack. Uh, simplified the design a bit to make it uh, possible for my machinist to uh, to do something with. Uh, I'm not sure he agrees that it was so very simple, but still. And I also have I'm grown uh, fond of um, sealing everything with uh, O-rings, so um, I'm doing that also with this one. Uh, also, I had a head packer here, 10 millimeters high. Uh, because I have a taller crank, uh, sorry, a taller uh, conrod, and I didn't have to use uh, that, of course, so I just made this higher. Other than that, this uh, right hand side is not so complicated, so it was uh, fairly, fairly easy work. The left hand side, though, was uh, a totally different uh, ball game. A lot of things to consider here, a lot of measurements to take care um, of uh, being right and uh, 
And uh, what I did here was uh, I also incorporated uh, double no uh, spray nozzles for uh, oil to uh, spray the flip side of the, of the piston. And uh, again, uh, an O-ring track here or groove. Uh, also to make sure that uh, I have oil enough for both nozzles. I um, put a, a bigger oil pump in here. So this groove or this uh, housing for the oil pump is uh, 15 millimeters instead of OEM's 10. Um, so there was uh, a lot of work with this um, and uh, there is uh, also uh, since the housing is a little bit going up here instead of the um, you know the OEMs uh, are not not that going so far uh, there um, that makes it possible to carry a little bit more oil and that's always nice um, so uh, and uh, as you can see uh, since this side is, is uh, fairly difficult uh, or not difficult but um, uh, changed uh, modified from the OEM so I needed also a transmission cover um, so I made that too and, and uh, when I put it all together uh, it looks uh, something like this um, I have done, as you know, the cylinder head uh, from before, um, and uh, the impeller cover is here, and uh, also the cover for the transmission to the counterbalancer. So, um, yeah, now it's uh, just uh, to keep the fingers crossed and make sure my machinist has some time to, uh, to work his uh, magic in uh, one of his uh, five axis machines wish me luck